your boy the franchise guy coming at you again with another episode of our NHL 21 franchise mode featuring your Dallas Stars. Uh, game number 21 of season one right here. Take on the New York Islanders. And if you guys have seen, if you guys can uh, read uh, the title, you see a pivotal point of this team's offense and all around defense, I want to say, is back with the team. Riley Hoopy. Hoopty? Hoopy? Yeah, a uh, 2015 second round draft pick. He's a top six winger and center. So, I mean, big, uh, big thing having him back on the team. Definitely having uh, him on the team is something that, uh, well, you, you want to have. I mean, it's a game changer right here. I mean, it's, hence, I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm, not, I, I'm not even sure this guy's name is. <laughs> oh, boy. Cannot remember uh, what his name is right now. Hints, maybe Riley Hints. Yeah, it's a pretty big lag spike. Yeah, I gotta check my my book right here. What is his name? Uh, Roop Hints. Roop Hints. That's his name. Uh, that's who came back. I, I can. I can. I can. Uh, what, what did I do? I combined Riley Tufty and Roop Hints' names together. Yeah, that's what I did right there. So, uh. Bunch of two separate different players. Uh, Riley Tufty is a 22-year-old power forward playing for the Texas Stars team, their AHL affiliate. Well, uh, Hints over here is in fact playing for the NHL team, and he's you know was a pivotal part of that team last year. Uh, but right now, this year is not. The team's not doing super hot. Uh, it's just unfortunate. I think we're just kind of muttering around 500. So we're definitely gonna wait to see before, uh, probably around the trade deadline, to see what we're gonna do. Probably won't really nice pass there. Uh, probably won't have an actual plan for the trade deadline until uh, the trade deadline. That's what that's what I'm leaning towards right now. Just kind of wait and see where uh, what we're doing, where we're going with it. Yeah, that's another big uh, spike right there for lag. This episode not going to be great recording-wise. I, like I said, I try to you know fix the problem with my computer where I just don't have enough space anymore on it. My computer is a couple years old, so I need a laptop. So I just need. In trying to find more space, I thought, all right, I'm going to clear out a bunch of files. Well, in those files, there's apparently a bunch of important things. Uh, like all of the presets and settings to everything on my laptop. Did not think about that until I you know, started going through it. It goes, um, you know, maybe I should not just, you know, delete the massive, you know, you know, couple hundred gigabyte folder. And, you know, why did I not see when I saw that folder? goes, well, that's that's probably a problem. I probably shouldn't do that. Don't know why I didn't think about that like five six o'clock in the morning. Uh, but yeah, did not uh, did not sleep much that day as I then spent uh, the next two three hours panicking, making sure that I didn't like delete everything uh, for YouTube and delete everything for everything. Yeah, so definitely need to go back through the settings and fix it. I, I, the first time I booted up Streamlabs since I did that too. So Streamlabs was like throwing a temper tantrum. It's like, uh, you're not signed in to anywhere. And I had to sign back into my Twitch channel. And it's like, um, I really hope all the presets are still safe because I don't know, like, I don't know what I would, honestly would have to do to get all, of, you know, that stuff back. I think the overlay, um, all of like the settings for the streaming, you know, the mic, the webcam, audio, Elgato, all that stuff. You know, thankfully I didn't have to to come back and you know restart all of that. But I definitely have to go back and you know go back into my record um, just to see how. Mm. Of course, they're just gonna. 
Just spam us with frog in the hat. Mm, you hate to see that. You really do hate to see that right there. All right, I'm gonna pause this recording right now and try and stop recording and come back to hopefully fix that. All right, there we go. That should hopefully uh, fix it right there. Uh, in doing so, I looked at our shots. We only have one shot on goal uh, so far. So, not sure how I feel about how I feel about that, but we only have one shot on goal. Oh, there we go. Bad shot. Come on, we got two shots on goal. Nice, nice Tyler Sagan goal right there. Oh, you love to see that right there. Love, love, love seeing a good old Tyler Sagan goal. I mean, Tyler Sagan, you know, seventh goal in the season, 20-something games in the season. He's got like 22 points, 23, 4, 5, 6 points, something uh, along that line. Getting a lot of assists. He is a playmaker, so I'm not like super worried about him getting a bunch of goals. You know, if he wasn't getting any assists and had like 15 or so points, I'd be like, I'd be a little worried. Uh, but the fact that he is, in fact, scoring um, off assists... Um, is perfectly fine for me. Do I got my uh, defense just got bullied by that winger? Oh, there we go. Facto up to Sakura. Up to Gardner. Gardner. Oh boy. Nope, that's not even close to. I'm trying to pass it to number 18, Dixon, right there. And, uh, I'm not getting what I needed. Ooh, lad. Ooh, missed. Ooh, nice save by Bishop. Up to Dickinson. Nice uh, shot on. Uh, I'm not sure who the goalie is for uh, the Islanders, but shot will be no good. I guess he's going to deflect it off. Oh, uh, yeah. Eight shots to four shots. They got a goal. We got a goal. Uh, so, yeah, definitely need to do something goalies. I mean, at least for human goalies, because that, uh, that, you know, that goal we had for the uh, Sagan was a pretty good goal, I feel like. Nope, alright. Come on, Jimmy. Jimmy likes to play some good defense right there. I can't, uh, can't knock him on that one. That was actually a good defensive uh, stop for Alexniak. All right, captain. Uh, Andres Lees were in the captain's seat because Matthew Barzell is still a, still a free agent. I mean, I consider bringing in Barzell. It's going to cost us a second round draft pick. I mean, so if you guys want me to maybe bring in Barzell next episode, try and See if we can entice the that pretty good center to come play with us. Problem is, I don't know where we put him. You know, I mean, like we don't have any real room for for a Barzell. Um. Okay. Now four and four. Apparently, he's a two power plays now. Good for that. Now it's a, a two uh, penalties were called. All right, thirty-five year old Joe Pavelski. Oh, I'm a good shot. Deflected off that goalie's pads. To Radulov, Radulov. You know, definitely someone looking to be on the trade block. If we are still not doing great at uh, the deadline, but I mean, Bishop definitely needs to be doing better right there. I mean, that is not a goal you're supposed to let up right there. One on one, didn't even put a move on him. Just a straight down the line, you know, goal allowed by Ben Bishop. Johnny Boychuk right there, who just retired recently, so, I mean, at least he lives on here in the game, but he did suffer an eye injury last season, and that's 
I think it's like almost that similar to the Chris Pronger injury, where uh, Chris Pronger took a uh, stick to the eye and more or less just ended his career because he could couldn't see. Like even today, like, he still says like he'll be at home and his kids will just come up out of his the one side and he won't see them turn around. He'll like scream because he's like they appeared out of nowhere. Sagan. Nice. Riley Hints. Ru no. Rupence. Right? Rupence. Rupence. There you go. Return back from Ramsey. Rupence gets this team tied up right here. And we're still skipping frames. Uh, which is just unfortunate. I think it's just going to be a problem. They might have to restart my computer. That might be the problem because I haven't restarted it in a little bit, so we need to get better at that. All right, where are we at? Here we go. Win the face off. Come on, Sakura. No, well, all sides. Seriously, who who got off sides right there? Why are we all sides? I mean, cut them. I don't want them on the team anymore. Just cut them. Get rid of them. You're gone. You're trash. Don't want you anymore. Sakura doing great at this whole uh, let's get the puck and then instantly lose it thing. Alright, Radulov. Nice, Radulov right there. Saving a goal because uh, just Bishop's not playing it well. I also feel like um, the AI is better at holding on to the puck. Like, I feel like every little thing that happens to one of my players, you know, pucks loose, pucks going somewhere that shouldn't be. Uh, but the AI is like, all right, we're just going to take, you know, whatever. Uh, and we're just going to deal with it. We're not going to have any repercussions to whatever's happening. Alright, Klingberg's getting outran right there. There we go. Big defensive stop right there from Jamie Alexnick of all people. You know, the six foot eight, you know, behemoth of a man who Pittsburgh got rid of because, well, he's a big, slow defenseman, and the league doesn't play a big, slow defenseman anymore. Oh, mm. Pass, just poke check by Pollock right there. Klingberg, nice poke check. Can't retain that puck, though. A delayed penalty. This is going to be a... Uh, I'm not sure what that is. What? It's going to be Alexanic on that hit, though, isn't it? There. Oh, because he traveled through... That's so dumb. I mean, what a soft penalty right there. Super soft penalty. I'm not, not a big fan of that one. Definitely think uh should not have been blown that, that quick. Should not have been whistled that quickly. Alright. Uh, I guess this is the the tournament we're gonna play with this uh, this season. You know, bad bad goaltending, bad uh, bad defense, bad seems like everything right now except uh, nothing. Nothing seems great right now. Wallstrom second. Is that say second goal of the game for Wallstrom? So I continue that. Uh, that trend of whoever plays this is gonna get a hat trick. So that team's gonna get a hat trick. All right, Justin Bailey. All right, Essa Lindell just getting burnt right there. All right, Johnny Boychak, calm down. I don't know. There we go. And 
down. That's not at all where I sit in that puck, too. Oh, that's great. Dude, for one day, Ben Bishop can actually make the save, which is honestly the best thing. For me. Dude, this video is going to be so trash when it comes out just because how many times the frames are skipping. Alright. Hopefully it's not really as bad as it saying it is. What was that shot? Alright. Islanders though, on the power play, so that's a good thing at least. At least they're on the power play this time, so get a chance with two minutes left to uh, try and tie this game back up at three apiece. Uh, but knowing our luck, that's not going to happen. They're going to score another two goals somehow. Alright, Clutterbuck and uh, Sizzix. I don't know. I'm not sure how to say his name. I'm not going to try to say his name, because I'm just going to say it wrong. Alright, alright, calm down. Yep. 85%. Oh, boy. This is just going to be a brutal recording. I apologize, YouTube. Klingberg, up to Pavelski. Pavelski. Just not going to get any any room to work right there. Yeah. Not getting any room. They're just going to swarm him and kick it back every time. Nah. Look how, like, they're playing so aggressive. Oh, Pavelski just didn't shoot the puck. Yeah, that's all they're going to do. Oh, missed the puck. Radulov can't get behind them, even though he should have had the momentum to get behind them. Uh, that puck sailed out of nowhere for... There we go, Tyler Sagan. Nice goal. Second goal of the game for Sagan. It's going to tie this game up at three on the power play. So good power play goal for Tyler Sagan. Big goal for the assistant captain. My mic's facing the wrong way. There we go. Make that. It's not great, but let's make that a little better. All right. Ooh, there we go. Bump check. No, no. There we go. Ending the period out at least... Uh, game's gonna be tied up 3-3, 15 to 16. The shots are again just skipping absolutely like crazy. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's just my laptop at this point. I don't think anything to do with uh, more with the settings. Oh, come on, there we go. Oh, come on. Nice shot off your teammate. Come on. Mm, there we go. No. Nope. See, we're trying. Yeah. There we go. Nope. How, how are they pinned up against the wall when we're not even, like, in the ability to be pinned? Nice safe Ben Bishop. Toss up to the side. Somehow the guy behind us beats us to it. Alright, dump that back. Just get that. You know, reset some. 
camera. No, that was actually a fairly decent shot. I'm also liking how the puck every time doesn't just sail right out of the rink. Every time you hit off the goalie, it's like, alright, there's some better puck logic in this game, better puck physics. Uh, it seems like, which I'm a fan of, clearly. Oh, poor Josh Hosang did not deserve what he did, had that coming to him right there. Oh, there we go. Hints, Rup hints. Come on. Alright, he's going to... Oh, just snagged by Varlamov right there. Good shot. That was definitely a good shot right there. I cannot argue with that one. Let's see. We've had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten different messages popping up for uh, skip frames. So I'm not even sure how like watchable this video is gonna be. But that's what I get for being an idiot when it comes to uh, just deleting files. Um, excuse me? Come on, Cal Clutterbuck, the man that was traded for Taylor Hall. No, no, no. There we go. There we go, defense. Uh, stuck on each other for about half a second and then instantly unfreeze when we get close to them. Ooh, nice uh, physics then transfer that hit. There we go. Dude, number 15 apparently is just like an Olympic sprinter because he's just catching up to us like out of nowhere. Is that Michael Doc Cole? They're playing some form of uh, actual like scheme while we're just kind of skating around aimlessly, hoping to get the puck in that. No, oh, okay. All right. 11 times the skip frame has popped up so this is going to be an absolutely horrendous video uh hopefully we don't have we don't have too many more like this let me just like a a one maybe two episodes at most problem and then after that it seems like it can fix itself come on minute left no nope. That puck's coming down. Oh, Letty coming out of nowhere, just stealing that from Jimmy Ben. Uh, Pulak's running out, uh, out running Tyler Sagan. Right, up to Sagan. Nope. Ben can't get the pass on to Sagan. Sagan's shot will be off. Here we go. I save. Gardner, 29 seconds left. He's going to lose the puck, of course. Hosang taking it back. Sagan. Nope. Can't do it. Klingberg on Bailey. Alexniak on Pajot. Pajot just getting bullied by Alexniak and still just keeps the puck. Because, you know, AI doesn't actually lose the puck. Klingberg going to go up to Gardner. Gardner. Oh, Gardner actually makes it past the blue line but Dickinson can't get there in time to get the rebound uh, it's super unfortunate right they're gonna go to OT uh, frankly just because we could not get the puck in the net all right shots even 21 all all right 
All right, Ben Sagan. So that's four on four right now. Or four, uh, three on three, I'm sorry. Oh, Sagan, you should have had that one right there, bud. Oh, no, 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 no. What is the angle he's taking where he's going to outspeed Tyler Sagan? Like, I'm not saying I know all these hockey players and how good they should be. But I just know that angle should not have beat Tyler Sagan. Oh, Ben. Come on, Jamie. Ben, dude, what is that? Like, Jamie Ben's outspeeding uh, whoever 18 is. Sagan. Klingberg. Klingberg shots just so slow. Dude, Klingberg just getting absolutely ridden by number 44. Sagan one-on-one -on -one with Bailey. Ooh, Andres Lee. Nice. Kick save right there. Ooh. Lee. Forced to take an awkward shot. Klingberg. No one's with him. There we go, Tyler Sagan, snipe shot. There you go, you love to see that one. At least that one wasn't choppy. I mean, it's still choppy because I have to, well, as soon as I say that, pops up. Skip frame alert. Wow, 12 skip frame, 13 skip frame alerts this episode. That's awesome. Probably like a record for me, honestly, for how many, how much garbage I've had to deal with. Um, just trying to record anything, honestly. Uh, but there we go, we get the replay. Sagan, just a big snub right there. Beats, uh, stick side for Varlamov. There we go. Third start of the game, gonna go to Ryan Pulak. He did pretty good, got some assists this game, I guess. So, good for him, definitely good for him. And the Dallas uh, win over New York. Uh, Anthony Buvier, Bevier, Bio, Biovier. okay, Anthony there. Gets the second star, good for him. Uh, for two goals. Alright, I mean, that's cool, makes sense. And third star, or first star, I'm sorry, goes to Tyler Sagan. Four points, hat trick, and an assist, including the game winning goal. Uh, but if you guys enjoyed this episode, hit that like button down below. Comment down below also if we should try and throw out a contract to you, Matthew Barzell. Lent type on YouTube, though. Peace out. Rock on. Stay super classy, and uh, have, a, have a great day, I guess. I don't, I don't know.